The thing about our system is that by using different size plates and different numbers of plates, we can modularize for any engine from one liter up to a 15 or 20 liter engine. Um, and the number of the plates and the sizes uh, help control how much hydrogen is released? Yes, there's a, um, a mutable and immutable law that combines temperature, um, concentration of electrolyte, and voltage, okay. and plate area. So once you know those combinations, you can say, okay, a three liter engine will require something this size, a eight liter engine will require something this size, and a 15 liter engine will require something this size. Okay. And the more, um, the more um, hydrogen it needs, the more uh, electricity we draw from the, the engines or the vehicle's alternator. Okay, and what happens to the oxygen produced? Well, we have two different systems. In some systems we use, we consume both the hydrogen and the oxygen, in the case of both those cars down there. And in another case, uh, actually this one here, splits the oxygen and throws it away. Okay. And uses the hydrogen, because in some cars, uh, there is an O2 sensor that reacts negatively from the additional hydrogen. However, we do have uh, additional components that can go onto a car like that, that so it can utilize both the oxygen and the hydrogen.